What's up, Internet? Welcome back. This is Mr. 22. RetroPie is my favorite front end for emulation on the Raspberry Pi. And because it's open source, it took quite some time for RetroPie to officially be on the Raspberry Pi 4. And now, while it's in beta, it's finally here. What? I finally plan on replacing my Pi 3 for a Pi 4. But before I get into it, let me just remind you guys that this is a forum discussion video. So if you plan on getting the Pi 4 for RetroPie, let me know down below for discussion and subscribe for more content. My RetroPie setup is within this thing called the Pi Cave, which I've done a video about in the past. Because it uses a hat, I don't have much space to do active cooling, so I have no plans on overclocking, at least at the moment. So unfortunately, that means no Dreamcast and mostly no N64 for me. And I'm okay with that, like I said, for the time being. I'm transferring all my games via an external hard drive because my network for some reason won't transfer a bunch of ROMs at a time. Also, my hard drive does not have an external power, so I had to plug my screen straight into the wall while adding ROMs. And now everything works, aside from the customizations I plan on implementing in the future. At the moment, I'm happy. Now let's take a peek at some things that were added within the updates. Now I'm not going to get into everything because you can see everything on the website. But a few things are, the update moves RetroPie away from Raspbian Stretch and into Buster. RetroArc is updated to version 1.8.5. That includes being able to dump games directly within RetroPie. And retro achievements are now added for PS1, Sega CD, PC Engine CD. And Emulation Station was updated to 2.9.1. Some optional cores and ports were updated, and that includes Sonic Robo Blast, which was updated to 2.2. I'm personally stoked for the ability to dump games directly within RetroPie because I want to see if I'm able to play games directly from the disc within RetroPie just by connecting an external disk drive that I happen to have. Before I set this up when using my Pi 3, I was only using a small selection of games because I didn't really want to overwhelm myself. But since I installed everything this time on my Pi with a 128GB SD card, I'm going to throw everything in here, at least anything that is easily put on there. And because it will be a lot, I plan maybe on starting a journal and start digging through the games. This is going to be my chance to check out some gems. So please stick around my channel if you would like to hear me discuss them. But until then, please, I would love to hear your recommendations of games within MAME 2003. And I will take the time to check out these games and maybe possibly review them. I have a fairly long history with RetroPie and it's been my way of exploring classic games without pulling my old cartridges. I like physical media and I like staring at my bookshelf of collections for some strange reason because I love video games and I'm sure if you're listening to this you love video games yourself. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think that RetroPie being on Raspberry Pi 4 is exciting? Let me know down below and if you like discussion videos much like this one subscribe and I'll be back with more.